Welcome back! I'm Silicon Thaumaturgy, and today you're going to find out which among the popular models in Civit AI produces the best hands on average, and after that, find out which negative embeddings will and won't help you make better hands. Naturally, I couldn't extensively test every single model because there are so, so many. So, I selected a range of models that are near top for all time or near top for the month. However, I excluded any models explicitly for lascivious purposes, because I have a squeaky clean reputation to uphold here on YouTube. I also threw in some models a bit lower on the list because they have a unique style not seen in other models. Here is the overall list of models I tested. As a baseline, I tested Stable Diffusion 1.5. For realistic models, I tested Realistic Vision 2.0, Deliberate 2.0, Cyber Realistic 3.0, and Magic Mix Realistic version 6. For realistic lean stylized models, I have Dream Shaper 6.31, Perfect World version 4, Rev Animated version 1.2.2, A Zavia RPG Artist Tools version 3, and Ghost Mix version 2. For anime leaning models, I tested Minimix version 10, Counterfeit version 3, Dark Sushi Mix Darker, and Cetus Mix version 4. And finally, for more cartoony styles, I tested Samaritan 3D and two new beta 3. Overall, the testing includes a whopping 16 models. For each model, I generated 48 images with the settings here using the prompt text box script. The OCD among you are probably deeply offended I tested 48 images instead of 50, but alas, I made a grievous error and forgot to include the header rows when counting prompts. The seed is iterated for each prompt, so each prompt has its own seed. However, that seed was kept constant across all the models. This initial testing was performed without the use of negative embeddings because we want to measure the model's base capabilities. We will explore negative embeddings later in the video. Next, I'm going to share how I scored the results so you can interpret the data I'm about to show you. Each image was given a score between 0 and 1, which includes both hands if two are shown, or only a single hand if one is shown. Images without hands, or less than half a hand, were not scored. For each hand, I gave zero points for failing hands that were immediately obvious, half points for less obvious defects which required closer inspection or counting fingers to identify, and full points for passing hands with the right number of fingers. Well, you waited long enough, so here are the results for the models, starting from worst and going to best. In absolute last place, we have the base Stable Diffusion 1.5 checkpoint with an abysmal score of 0.22. As we'll discuss later on, Hands have been getting better and better in more recent models, and since the base checkpoint is the oldest, it makes sense that it has the worst performance. In 15th place, we have 2 new Beta 3, with a score of 0.33. This model really doesn't like to show hands at all, with 18 out of 40 images not showing them, the highest among all models tested. For many models, other defect rates seem correlated to hands, but 2 new is fairly coherent and good with faces. In 14th place, and bring up the rear among anime-based models, is Counterfeit version 3, with an average score of only 0.4. I think this might be an issue with this particular release because I remember 2.5 being much better. 3.0 is just janky in general. Other defect rates like phases and anatomy and twinning were also very high. If I ever do a follow-up video, I'll be sure to test 2.5 to try to do this one justice. Next in 13th place, we have Perfect World version 4 with an average score of 0.41. Not only was Perfect World not good at hands, it seems to suffer from other defects and issues relatively frequently as well. Considering it was updated around a month ago, this performance does not stack up well against its contemporaries. Much like an uninspired coming-of-age movie like the innumerable American Pie sequels, Perfect World tries to distract from these faults with big, bouncy distractions. Though, based on the download count in Civit AI, it seems this approach has succeeded. In 12th place, we have another recent model, Ghost Mix version 2, with the VAE baked, with an average score of 0.41. Like others low on this list, Ghost Mix version 2 also has other defects relatively frequently. Ghost Mix version 2 also has high levels of suggestive and inappropriate content, which even surpass Perfect World version 4. Once again, in this community, that seems to be a feature rather than a bug. In 11th place, we have Deliberate version 2.0, with an average score of 0.43. Unlike the other models at the bottom we've discussed so far, Deliberate is quite old, originally released in February 2023, which is practically an attorney in this community. So I'm not going to talk smack on Deliberate. At one point, this was a top-tier model, but now it's showing its age. 
In 10th place, we have Samaritan 3D with an average score of 0.47. This model and its sibling model, Disney Pixar Cartoon Type A, are really your only options if you want a Pixar or CGI style. There are some anatomy and face issues that show up too, but given this model is the first of its kind, I'm actually quite impressed. Additionally, as you might expect, since this style is primarily used in children's films, this model has the absolute lowest amount of suggestive content among all the models I've tested. In 9th place, we have Minimax version 10 with an average score of 0.5. The numbers for this one are a bit interesting if you know about statistics. For most of the models, the scores seem to follow a roughly bell curve distribution. In this case, we have a lot of zeros which drag the score down. This seems to be a characteristic shared by Counterfeit and Dark Sushi to a lesser extent. However, if you look at the good results, the 0.75 and the 1s, they actually occur a lot more often than the other models around this average score. Long story short, it's polarized. You get good hands fairly often, but when it fails, it usually fails pretty bad. Or maybe that's just me coping, because Minimix has been my go-to anime model for quite some time. In 8th place, we have Realistic Vision version 2 with an average score of 0.51. This model is actually pretty old as well, having come out in late March 2023. This is a bit of a spoiler, but the remaining two realistic models are actually quite close in performance to this one. Given the margin of error in these stats, which I'll discuss at the end, we can't say for sure which one is best. So, to the creator SG underscore 161222, I would like to say bravo, because this model has held up like fine wine. In 7th place, we have Magic Mix Realistic version 6 with an average score of 0.52. Overall, performance is very similar to Realistic Vision version 2. The two key differences between this model and Realistic Vision is that this model heavily favors portraying women. Men are almost non-existent. Additionally, this model defaults towards Asian features. So overall, it's less flexible than Realistic Vision 2.0. In sixth place, and our final Realistic model, we have Cyber Realistic version 3.0 with an average score of 0.53. Cyber Realistic had slightly higher occurrences of other defects compared to Magic Mix and Realistic Vision. Cyberlistic also has very high occurrence of inappropriate content. It really likes to draw pepperonis on top of clothing, if you catch my drift. So I don't recommend using this model if you aren't of legal age. And that wraps up realistic models. And next, in fifth place, we have Dark Sushi Mix, the darker version, with an average score of 0.53. This model does have some minor issues with faces and twinning, but overall, I think it's quite good. Additionally, this model has the lowest occurrence of suggestive content among the anime models it tested, so you want to give your kids an anime model, this is probably your best bet. Though that isn't saying very much. In fourth place, and our highest performing anime model, we have Cetus Mix version 4 with an average score of 0.54. Once again, this is so close to Dark Sushi Mix that the difference is not statistically significant, so take your pick of which one you like best. Minimix is at the very edge of statistical significance and has lower occurrences of other defects, so I think there's a case to be made for all three. And finally, we're on to the top three, which are all stylized models. In third place, we have Dream Shaper version 6.31 with an average score of 0.57. Dream Shaper is a long-running model within the community and the third most downloaded model of all time on Civit AI. I would say that it indeed deserves its place on the leaderboard. Another interesting fact about this model is that it has unusually low levels of objectionable content. While suggestive content is still present, it is much less frequent than the final two models in our list, and I did not see any NSFW images in my test data. There is one minor issue though. Sometimes the model spits out black or incoherent images, and I'm not sure why. In second place, we have a Zavia RPG Artist Tools version 3, which I'm just going to call Zavia 3 going forward because that is a mouthful. Zavia 3 has an average hand score of 0.59. Overall, Zavia 3 has very good coherency and not just with hands. It also has a relatively unique painted look. While this model is relatively popular, I would say it's underrated for how good it is. And finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, the popular model with the best hands. And it is none other than Rev Animated version 1.2.2 with an average score of 0.61. While this model is basically meant to be a waifu generator, that generator is built on a rock-solid foundation of coherency and good anatomy. So bravo! Given that the versions of Dream Shaper and Zavia I tested came out after Rev Animated, and they share a similar style, I have little doubt that some of the quality of their hands comes from Rev, so I want to give credit where credit is due. Now that we've gone through the full list, here's a graph showing the scores of all the models side by side. This is also the part where I'm going to talk about nerdy math stuff, aka statistical significance, which is important when interpreting this kind of data. 
What I'm about to show you is called a one-tailed, two-sample z-test. Basically, this is a test that determines whether there's a significant difference between two sets of data in a particular direction. The formula for calculating a z-score is shown here, but don't worry about what exactly it means. What is important is that the further the z-score is from zero, the more significant the results are. For this study, I've chosen to evaluate at 90% and 80% confidence levels, which correspond to z-scores of 1.28 and 0.85 respectively. If the cell is green, it means we are at least 90% sure that the model in the column makes better hands than the model in the row. If the cell is yellow, we are at least 80% sure that the model in the column makes better hands than the model in the row. For red cells, we are less than 80% confident. Now that I've thoroughly confused my less technical viewers, let's go through an example. The first column is for the number one model, Rev Animated. As you can see, all the cells are green until Cetus Mix, which is yellow, and Dream Shaper and Zobia 3 are red. This means we are at least 90% confident Rev Animated makes better hands than every model except these three, and more than 80% confident that it outperforms Cetus Mix. Now that we've covered base performance, let's see how we can improve this performance with the use of negative embeddings. I tested two negative embeddings specifically for hands, which are bad hand version 4 and negative underscore hand. Now there are many more negative embeddings out there, but I'm a single person with limited time, so that's all I had time for in this video. I tested out both of these embeddings on four different models. Base SD 1.5, Minimix version 10, Realistic Vision version 2, and Zabia 3. The only change I made for this testing was adding the negative embedding to the negative prompt. Afterwards, I compared the results to the results for the base model by itself. So let's start with the bad results. To preface this, I'm not here trying to be a jerk or stir up controversy. But I do feel obligated to share information that will help you, the community, make the best images possible. So here goes. The negative underscore hand embedding, which is the seventh most downloaded embedding on Civit AI with 68,000 downloads, not only does not work, but showed a decrease in the quality of hands on all four models I tested, ranging from a decrease in 0.035 for Minimex to 0.06 for Zabia 3. Going back to z-testing, only one of these decreases, which was for Zabia 3, was statistically significant by itself. But having all these go in the same direction is extremely unlikely by random chance. As a result, I do not recommend using this negative embedding at all. What's worse here is that the average user has basically no chance of figuring out it doesn't work because of the huge amount of randomness inherent in image generation. So, if you are creating embeddings or other tools for the community, I really, really encourage you to do quality testing before releasing them. If you need help with developing a method for quality testing, I'll be glad to give you advice. Okay, rant over. Bad Hand version 4 was the other embedding I tested, and it actually had a statistically significant increase in the quality of hands for three out of the four models I tested, with the fourth, Realistic Vision, showing an increase that wasn't statistically significant. The downside to this embedding was that it was developed for anime, and as such, can and will substantially change the image and its style. But, if you want to make better hands and you don't mind the style change, Bad Hand version 4 can definitely help. For your convenience, I've included the link for this embedding in the video description. If this video told you which popular models give the best hands and which negative embeddings can help, like and subscribe to support the channel. As always, I hope this video was enlightening and will help you make better AI art in the future. If you have any models you think make great hands, or a favorite negative embedding for hands that you would like to see tested in a potential part 2, leave them in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching, and see you next time.